Hello my fellow whale watchers. Today we are going to look at a Master League 3 hanger of one of my subscribers. What you see here on the screen is the hanger that he had run before the 7.9 rebalance. And here you can see the hanger that he is running now. His favorite game mode is Pick and Rush and he also plays quick games from time to time. So let's have a look. The Pancha Orochi, even after the 7.9 nerf, is still a very powerful build. He runs it with Madame Brigitte, which is the more tactical build, in comparison to the Ghost Pilot, which is more focused on maximizing damage output. Damage boosters and anti-control are solid choices, healing is also quite standard. The Fenrir as Igniter by Venom hybrid build, here there are some things to do. First and foremost, the pilot. Ricardo is a pilot for the Revenant, and I would strongly recommend to try to get Bernadette Wolf for it, which makes a super heavy tank out of the Fenrir. Also, the Fenrir lives off its health, so once you brought it beyond level 9, it can also accommodate more modules, which comes in handy for its role in Beacon Rush that's preferably the role of a Beacon tank. The Techno Scorpion as MK3 with Havoc and Scatter, this is your Assassin, you chose to run it with the Money Pilot, also a reasonable choice. Also damage modules come in handy, the Quantum Raider indicates that you hate Orochis. You may want to think about something else there, also because you run Sonic weapons that allow to hit your targets with a spread. And the Scorpion has quite low weapon hard points, but it's your choice. The Revenant with Puncher Toxin in place, this is a very powerful build as well, especially with Vasilisa. And it works very well with a new microchip, which is the On Damage Dealt Damage B-Type chip that accumulates damage boosts. So for using that effectively, your weapon levels still need to go up a bit. Thermonukes, Balanced Unit and Repair Amplifiers are also quite standard for the Revenant, nothing wrong here. The Aojun, you run with Banes, two Cloaking Units and Yang Li. This is a quite interesting choice because it indicates that you use it as a short range support damage dealer. This can work, why not, but you may have issues when you try to lead faster targets with your inbuilt flamethrowers, because then your pain sometimes won't hit. But apart from that, you have very high DPS and quite some survivability here. Finally, the Smey Muromets. You run it with Grom, Retaliator and Vengeance. I have not seen this build before, my guess is that you run the Grom with another Titan and since it's maxed out, you chose to put it on the Muromets in order to have some insurance for brawling. However, this is not exactly streamlined with the strengths of the Muromets. So in medium terms, especially for Beacon Rush, you may want to look into either going with a Brawler Titan or if you like the Muromets, replace the weapon set to something more effective. At the moment, Dazzlers and Lanterns are the best choices for it. Also your Titan modules are okay, but in case you should get your hands on premium modules, it's always worth to max these and make good use of them. So before we come to potential improvements, let me bring back the hangar that you ran before the nerf for a second. You basically chose to replace the Fafnir, the Shell and the Hawk with a Fenrir, a Revenant and an Aujun. It's your choice of course, but just a few ideas to consider. Your Fenrir is at MK16 and you don't have the right pilot for it yet. So I would try out, for example, to keep your Dreadshell or even your Fafnir with Scorchers in your hangar for now instead of the Fenrir. Maybe try around with different setups, but in mid-level Master League, in my opinion, an MK1 level 6 Fenrir is not yet competitive, especially in a Brawler configuration. This could also be one of the reasons why you dropped from Master 2 into Master 3 recently. What else could you try out here? Try out to switch the Banes of the Outron with the Punchers of the Orochi. See if you like this better. I personally found Punchers of the Outron more effective in Beacon Rush, but it also depends a bit on your playstyle. Also, you can try to put the Bane of the Fenrir onto the Revenant, which makes the Revenant more streamlined with regard to weapon configuration. Just replace the low level Fenrir with something else for now until you get a good pilot for it. I strongly recommend Bernadette. With regard to gear upgrades, apart from the Fenrir, I would start with your heavy tier 4 weapons and your Havocs. Maybe start leveling a couple of paints to MK112 and then work on your modules. Especially premium modules are very useful in long terms as they can be switched to other builds later on. So this concludes my hangar review of this Master League 3 hangar. In case you would like to have your hangar reviewed as well, you find instructions on how to apply in this video's description. Thanks for listening in and see you on my channel.